We want to show you a Channel 9 investigation that uncovered I-85, I-77, Independence Boulevard, and all the other major interstates and highways in the Charlotte region are costing millions mm -hmm. more than expected. Reporter Mark Barber discovered one way to make up for the extra expenses could actually make the quality of your commute even worse. Frank Doggett drives I-77 every day. To get a feel for his commute, I buckled in and rode with him. It's a constantly moving and shifting uh, living beast just trying to, trying to drive this. Before all this construction started, his drive took about 30 minutes. Now, it can take up to an hour. Transportation affects every portion of our life. Lewis Mitchell is a head engineer for NCDOT. His mission is improving the roads in the Charlotte region. We want the, the public to um, trust that we're doing with their resources. Uh, what they've asked. Road projects routinely exceed their budgets, so Mitchell says NCDOT always budgets an extra 3%, which is why this list is so surprising. I dug through state records and discovered six of the eight major projects in the Charlotte Metro aren't just 3% over budget. One phase of I-85 has blown past its budget by nearly 30%. The I-40 interchange improvements are nearly 20% over budget. I-77's overruns nearly 18%. Independence Boulevard is more than 7.5% over budget. In the high country, one phase of Highway 221 is nearly 25% over budget, and Highway 321 is more than 19% over budget. All of that will cost taxpayers an extra $165 million. In some of these uh, overruns, um, we have um, tangible additions. Mitchell says millions of dollars get added to projects like these when crews realize they need to add things like extra lanes or bridges. The labor demands are one of the things. Um, fuel prices um, often affect um, pricing on construction. Now here's where all of this really starts to matter. Your commute. Let me explain. We're flying Sky Drone 9 here over Mount Holly Huntersville Road where the state is building its first continuous flow intersection. Money for smarter intersections like this one could be taken away if projects that are under budget don't make up for the ones that are over budget. Mitchell says NCDOT could also take away funds for highway resurfacing and restriping to offset overloads. He tells me it isn't something they usually do, but they can do if costs don't level out. But with them expanding highways. Doggett survives traffic on I-77 with one foot on the brake, and tonight, He's questioning if the state is using that same caution. In real life, if you go anywhere over budget, somebody has to be held accountable. In Charlotte, Mark Barton, Channel 9 Witness News. Now, the state says it cannot tell us whether projects will lose funding to cover the overruns. They say that is not determined until the construction is finished.